Alright, episode 8, season 3, Better Call Saul, just went off. It was called, uh, Slip. And it was pretty good, I thought. Um, a few things happened. Um, some of more important than others. Um, Saul's still trying to build up some money to help pay for rent and whatever, uh, with Kim. And, I mean, he's down to you trying to go back and get old coins from his parents store or his father's uh, little convenience type store that he had um, that's been shown on the series before and still trying to push the commercials uh, with the music store and end up pulling, pulling a little trickery there um, slipping on a drumstick to get them to uh, buy more commercials instead of getting sued which was interesting um, still doing this community service picking up trash and a little something happened there where he took a couple more steps towards being the Saul from Breaking Bad where he can talk his way out of things and uh, throw up some legal talk to kinda trip people into letting him have his way for getting what he wants. I'm not sure if this would have worked tonight, but he made it sound good and it worked out for him and another guy. Made a little cash on the side. Um, Chuck's making some progress with getting out, um, trying to overcome whatever issues he's had with the electromagnetic um, stuff. But it seems to be working. He's working with a doctor. Um, actually made it to a grocery store. So, who knows, uh, by some point he might be regular Chuck again. At some point, I don't think we've actually really seen. Um, Mike's working a bit uh, on some plan, probably at the Salamanca's expense. Um, met up with Gus towards the end of the episode. So that'll be interesting seeing them move forward. They've already worked a little bit together this season, but... You know, eventually they all come together. Um, Nacho's working hard on his medicine uh, scam or problem with uh, Hector and replacing it with like Tylenol or Advil, whatever, something like that. <clears throat> something like that. So I, eventually it's going to put Hector into that wheelchair. You know it. And. It'll be interesting seeing him evolve into being uh, very strong-willed, very strong-minded, um, people afraid of him to being in a wheelchair. Uh, I don't know. It's coming at some point. I know it is. Um, I feel like three important things happen tonight. Um, seems like Gus and Mike are fixing up to have some sort of relationship like they had in Breaking Bad with Mike working to go pay up cash and doing security and all that uh, various things that Gus may need and about time it's taken a while for them to get kinda going I mean they've been a few jobs here and there but it'll be nice to see them really going together um, full time. Um, Saul's really turning into more of a Saul Goodman character. And I'm sure when he gets his license back, he's going to be probably full, mostly full blown uh, Saul. And Nacho, third thing is Nacho switching the medicines with Hector without Hector knowing. Um, ultimately, it's going to spell doom for Hector. Uh, make him in the wheelchair, put him in the wheelchair, and make it so he can't really do much. Um, except ring that bell and uh, get fussed at or deal with Tuco, crazy Tuco. But only two episodes left. Um, next week and the week after for season three. Wonder how long they can keep this uh, series going. Maybe. Another couple to bring it um, 
full swing around with uh, Breaking Bad. So we never really got any context of how long Saul was doing what he was doing. The way he was doing it. I don't remember. But I like to probably get another little bit out of this. Um, maybe around 5. Keep it at 5 or 6. I don't know. We'll see. That's been pretty good. I'll see y'all next time.